2020. Happy Monday, everyone. Meteorologist Ross Hall in for Anthony Farnell this week, and we'll start off with a harbor cam around Toronto. And you can see some of the well, cumulus clouds that have developed. We've seen some cloud cover at times, cooler than average temperatures, and actually that cool air interacting with Georgian Bay and even possibly Lake Ontario today, providing the potential for some water spouts, if you can believe it. But we are looking at temperatures on the cooler side, high teens, low 20s out there, and the humid X values are comfortable at the moment. That will start to change as we move through. Through this week. Winds are out of the north, Montreal through to Peterborough and up through areas around Georgian Bay. And there's that lake effect band. So the cooler air over the relatively warmer waters, uh, Wasaga Beach getting into some showers, and we've seen some spotty showers in other areas. Thankfully, around Montreal, we're not expecting anything intense after all that flooding. On Friday, just some cloud cover at times today. The slight chance of a shower, but again, we don't have the same dynamics to provide that heavy rain. Below average, though, 22 today in Montreal. We're looking at a high reaching 24 in Toronto, 22 in Peterborough and Kingston. I'll show you uh, how temperatures are looking this week in your full forecast coming up. Global News has obtained new information. Another Monday in August. Boy, summer is flying by. Some cooler conditions. You certainly felt that this morning. I needed a light jacket as I took the dogs out. Uh, we are looking at temperatures rising to near average around Toronto, slightly below average around uh, the Montreal area. Even parts of the GTA will be below average. Our normal or average high is still 25, 26 degrees. And we're going to be below that and not a lot of humidity out there. Northerly flow, slight chance for an afternoon shower or isolated thunderstorm. Not all areas will see it. And then we'll drop down to the teens overnight some more comfortable sleeping weather overnight tonight into tomorrow morning as we look at temperatures across the country the real warmth is farther north across well the northwest territories northern sections of alberta saskatchewan into manitoba uh, farther south it is a little cooler across the southern prairies and yes we've gotten into some cooler conditions across the east as well you see the outline of the jet stream this is a trough and it certainly has supported some cloud cover and some scattered showers and that will be the case today at times around south Western Quebec through to southern Ontario. But as I mentioned, it's more hit and miss or hit or miss. Nothing uh, sustained and certainly nothing close to what we experienced last week. We'll see high pressure settle in for tomorrow and likely into Wednesday. We'll have to watch out for disturbance that could bring on Wednesday some showers and thunderstorms to Montreal. Uh, we're keeping an eye on that situation. As we look at the forecast for Toronto first, you can see temperatures on the rise 27 on Tuesday, 28 on Wednesday, and staying in the high 20s Thursday. Unfortunately, just in time for the weekend, it looks like the chance of some showers, thunderstorms Friday into Saturday. We'll keep an eye on that situation. We still have a few days to uh, refine that forecast. As we look at Montreal, 28 on Tuesday, Wednesday, humid X values rising above 30, 27 on Thursday. So warming up certainly this week and also looks like the potential for more wet weather. I know you don't want to see that icon around Montreal as we continue to clean up from that flooding last week. Saturday, 26, Sunday, 24. Uh, but at this point, looking dry at least tomorrow, that chance of some wet weather Wednesday night. We'll keep an eye on that situation and that's a look at your forecast. All right, thanks Ross. Well, that's our show for today. Thanks so much. Time now for our first look at the forecast. Kaylee is off this week, so let's check in with meteorologist Ross Hall. Ross. Hi, Carrie. Well, a cooler day today across eastern Ontario, along with some cloud cover due to that northerly flow. And we're also looking out for the potential, at least through the uh, early evening hours, for some water spouts. There's been a water spout watch in place on the shores here of Lake Ontario. That's due to some of that cooler air pushing over the warmer waters of the lake at this time of year. A few showers have developed, mainly east of Kingston, east and west of Kingston, in fact. But there still is the chance of a scattered shower this evening but most areas I think should stay dry and you can see some of that cumulus cloud cover activity that certainly has pushed in at times today as well. Temperatures in the low 20s is high temperatures. We should be closer to the mid 20s and yes, we have that northerly flow in place. As we look at your overnight forecast, we're going to see uh, temperatures early this evening stay in around the low 20s. We drop down to near 14 degrees overnight. Could be a few fog patches. We are clear overnight and plenty of sunshine tomorrow. Warmer conditions on the way. I'll have your full long range details just ahead. First weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service and professional installations, visit aubin.com. Thousands of hours.
Well, dare I say it, a bit of a fall feel to the atmosphere today. Yeah, a little cool this morning. You needed that light jacket. Uh, we're going to get into some warmer conditions as we move through the dog days of summer. Uh, as we head into tomorrow, in fact, uh, already we'll be back to the high 20s for many areas in the sunshine. It will still be a cool start, especially around Peterborough and the Corthas, where we drop down the low uh, double digits. Even around Kingston, we'll get down to 14 degrees. Around the Durham area, a little warmer overnight, but all areas. Is getting back up in the sunshine to the high 20s tomorrow. And the humid X values, which were well into the 20s today, will start to get above 30. And it's when those humid X values start to get above 30, closer to the mid 30s, it starts to feel a little more uncomfortable out there. And we're going to experience higher humidity levels in the coming days. Let's look at temperatures across the country. The warmth, the heat has been in place, especially across northern Alberta, northern Saskatchewan, and northern Manitoba through the Northwest Territories. We've had heat warnings in place. Cooler, as you can see here, Towards Vancouver, uh, but reaching the mid to high 20s through Saskatchewan, high 20s in Thunder Bay. And we've gotten into some cooler conditions in the east after the passage of low pressure system. We've also got a trough in the jet stream, so that dip in the jet stream, allowing for some cooler air. And that cooler air aloft, especially, uh, has led to some instability. And that's why we've experienced some cloud cover at times and a few scattered showers. You can see the outline of that system right there. To the west of it, not a whole lot going on. And that's where the high pressure is going to move. In. And you can certainly see that through the overnight. A few fog patches possible. And then tomorrow, we should stay dry. I think uh, there's less of a chance of any wet weather compared to today, for instance. Just more of a stable air mass in place. As we move through Wednesday, though, a little more instability. So we'll have to watch out for a pop up shower, thunderstorm around Peterborough and the Corthas, especially, possibly through Durham. So that will be a little change, but it won't be all day. We'll start to see a drier air mass move in by Thursday. Okay, let's look at your overnight forecast conditions now. Uh, 13 in Peterborough, 14 in Kingston overnight, so some low double digits around Durham. Uh, we're looking at temperatures closer to 16, 17 degrees, and you can see temperatures uh, rising back up in Kingston and Peterborough and around Durham uh, to the high 20s in that sunshine. As we look at the next three days, that slight chance of a shower, thunderstorm Wednesday afternoon. We dry out Thursday. Thursday, and then it looks like some cloud cover on Friday and showers and thunderstorms moving in for next weekend. We still have a few days to refine that forecast, but at this point, it does look unsettled. And that's a look at your forecast. Time now for our first look at the forecast. Kaylee is off this week, so let's check in with meteorologist Ross Hall. Ross. Hi, Kerry. Well, a cooler day today across eastern Ontario, along with some cloud cover due to that northerly flow. And we're also looking out for the potential, at least through the uh, early evening hours, for some water spouts. There's been a water spout watch in place on the shores here of Lake Ontario. That's due to some of that cooler air pushing over the warmer waters of the lake at this time of year. A few showers have developed, mainly east of Kingston, east and west of Kingston, in fact. But there still is the chance of a scattered shower this evening but most areas I think should stay dry and you can see some of that cumulus cloud cover activity that certainly has pushed in at times today as well. Temperatures in the low 20s is high temperatures. We should be closer to the mid 20s and yes we have that northerly flow in place. As we look at your overnight forecast we're going to see uh, temperatures early this evening stay in around the low 20s. We drop down to near 14 degrees overnight. Could be a few fog patches. We are clear overnight and plenty of sunshine tomorrow. Warmer conditions on the way. I'll have your full long range details just ahead. First weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. A new study matters is brought to you by Kingston Community Credit Union. Align your money with your values. Visit kccu.ca. Well, dare I say it, a bit of a fall feel to the atmosphere today. Yeah, a little cool this morning. You needed that light jacket. Uh, we're going to get into some warmer conditions as we move through the dog days of summer. Uh, as we head into tomorrow, in fact, uh, already we'll be back to the high 20s for many areas in the sunshine. It will still be a cool start, especially around Peterborough and the Corthas, where we drop down the low uh, double digits. Even around Kingston, we'll get down to 14 degrees. Around the Durham area, a little warmer overnight, but all areas 
areas getting back up in the sunshine to the high 20s tomorrow. And the humidex values, which were well into the 20s today, will start to get above 30. And it's when those humidex values start to get above 30, closer to the mid 30s, it starts to feel a little more uncomfortable out there. And we're going to experience higher humidity levels in the coming days. Let's look at temperatures across the country. The warmth, the heat has been in place, especially across northern Alberta, northern Saskatchewan, and northern Manitoba through the Northwest Territories. We've had heat warnings in place. Cooler, as you can see here towards Vancouver, uh, but reaching the mid to high 20s through Saskatchewan, high 20s in Thunder Bay. And we've gotten into some cooler conditions in the east after the passage of low pressure system. We've also got a trough in the jet stream, so that dip in the jet stream, allowing for some cooler air, and that cooler air aloft especially uh, has led to some instability, and that's why we've experienced some cloud cover at times and a few scattered showers. You can see the outline of that system right there. To the west of it, not a whole lot going on, and that's where the high pressure is going to move in. And you can certainly see that through the overnight. A few fog patches possible, and then tomorrow we should stay dry. I think uh, there's less of a chance of any wet weather compared to today, for instance. Just more of a stable air mass in place. As we move through Wednesday, though, a little more instability. So we'll have to watch out for a pop-up shower thunderstorm around Peterborough and the Corthus, especially, possibly through Durham. So that will be a little change, but it won't be all day. We'll start to see a drier air mass move in by Thursday. Okay, let's look at your overnight forecast conditions now. Uh, 13 in Peterborough, 14 in Kingston overnight, so some low double digits around Durham. Uh, we're looking at temperatures closer to 16, 17 degrees, and you can see temperatures uh, rising back up in Kingston and Peterborough and around Durham uh, to the high 20s in that sunshine. As we look at the next three days, that slight chance of a shower, thunderstorm Wednesday afternoon. We dry out Thursday. Thursday, and then it looks like some cloud cover on Friday and showers and thunderstorms moving in for next weekend. We still have a few days to refine that forecast, but at this point, it does look unsettled. And that's a look at your forecast. You're long now and bring in our weather specialist, Kim Sullivan, who has the details on that. Hey, Kim. It was mostly a cloudy start to a new work week at Cary, and despite that wind coming in from the west, northwest being barely present, there was a bit of freshness in the air. However, we did hit 23 on the thermometer for Kingston, 21, 22, depending where else uh, you were in the region. But across the board with the humidity, it felt like 25, which is where we should be at this time of the year. So it wasn't too bad of a Monday. Skies are clearing as we speak, and I don't know if you know this, but there is a meteor shower going on as we speak. So uh, perfect viewing conditions to see a shooting star or two and if you do don't waste that wish on sunshine because there's plenty on the program seasonal low tonight not so seasonal tomorrow mother nature packing in a little extra summer for us 26 degrees on the thermometer is actually going to feel like a beautiful 32 will it last we'll take a look at that in your long-range forecast but for now that's your first look at weather First Weather is brought to you by Aubin Windows and Doors. For premium products, award-winning service, and professional installations, visit Aubin.com. A global news exclusive. U.S. Sports is a presentation of Ganshev Buick GMC Cadillac. Look for their new dealer app available on Google Play and the iTunes App Store. Well, despite a cooler, brisk day today, summer is back on the program, and we are going to get some glorious sunshine tomorrow. Mostly clear skies tonight will give in to a mostly sunny day tomorrow. If you spot a cloud, give me a call, because right now on the program, it doesn't look like there's much at all. 25 degrees will be our high. 27, actually, will be our high. So a few degrees above normal seasonal, it is going to feel like 32 with the humidity. So definitely a nice, hot summer day. Unlike what it was today, Toronto through to Montreal felt much cooler, especially with that stronger westerly, northwesterly wind. Oh, it was almost fall-like uh, this morning. But the west is packing in some heat, and there is a high uh, ridge, of, a large ridge of high pressure, and that is bringing us some mostly clear skies. Little chance of showers, as you saw, scattered showers here and there popping up, but nothing too serious. If we take a look at rainfall amounts between 
between now and Wednesday. Well, Ottawa could be seeing potentially 16 millimeters of rain, but one for Brockville, two for Belleville, eight for Bancroft. So really not much coming this way. Here are our lows for tonight. They are mostly seasonal. We are going to see lows of 12 in Petawawa down to 15 in Brighton. It is going to be under mostly clear skies, which is perfect viewing conditions for the meteor showers that are happening uh, this evening. And then we get a gorgeous summer-like day tomorrow. Highs that are going to feel like 32 here in the city. Cornwall is going to feel like 31. Gusty 60 kilometer an hour winds in Petawawa, but it's still going to feel like 32 over there. Mix of sun and clouds on Wednesday and Thursday. It is going to feel like 33 on Wednesday, 34 on Thursday. Cloudy on Friday, but it's still going to feel like 33. And then it's going to get muggy, hot and sticky and rainy, and potentially that rain sticking through to the beginning of next week. So while we have it, enjoy it. Gorgeous sunshine on the way at least till the end of the week. And that's a look at your forecast for tonight. Have a good one.